So we have our basic Unity interface, got a couple cubes here, simple game manager object, and then here's the uh, scripts that are going to control the real-time API. Um, as you can see, it uses the function tool here where we can just assign any function that exists within any script in our project. Um, so I'll just, for instance, right now it only has access to this uh, set cube blue script, um, which is a part of my game manager or game controller script. But I can just add another one here. Uh, if I go into my script, we can see I've got uh, two functions set cube blue, just whatever the cube color is, we set it to blue, and this one set cube green, really simple function, but you could have literally any, any uh, C-sharp function you'd like to control any asset of your game. So I'm just going to add this new one, we'll do set cube green, turns the cube green, this information is all passed uh, to the AI with the real-time API, and as I said, I can pick any function within any script, these are the functions that exist within the game manager script. Uh, there's a cube green, and that's it. That's that's all you have to do. And yeah, this kind of gives the AI the ability to control any aspect of the uh, of the code. Okay, we're in the app. Hello, testing. Hello. How can I assist you today? Can you make the cube green? It's that one. Okay, can you make it blue? Okay, can you make it green again? And blue again. So cool. I'm glad you liked it. If there's anything else you need, just let me know.